it would help if I would put my microphone down, wouldn't it? Hello, everybody. My name is Rain. Welcome back. Tonight, we are for realsies starting Little Witch in the Woods. Oh, I'm not feeling great tonight. Uh, in general, today, my lip has been, I'm sure you can tell how s fucking fat my lip looks. <laughs> um, remember a couple days ago I was saying anxiety gave me a fat lip? Yeah, well, I don't remember if I actually said it or not, but a spider decided it looked like a tasty snack. So now I'm dealing with that healing process. What? It's okay. It's getting better. It's getting better. Anyway. I don't know if I should move my camera or not. But for realsies, we're going to start Little Witch in the Woods tonight. And I have no idea what the buttons are. I've watched a little bit of it just to get an idea of it of like what it's like so I really don't know that much about it I just know it looks super cute I've seen it described as a sort of darker Stardew Valley I know I look like crap by the way no one needs to point it out <laughs> you good there pupper you good there okay but yes Little Witch in the Woods. Let's get going. Look how cute she is. So I don't know if I actually need my mouse for this or not. Or if it's strictly keyboard. I don't know yet. We're going to find out together. At least my hair looks good. <laughs> Shush. I wonder where the carrot was. You're still thinking about that? We found everything except the carrot. I think it's good that we never found the carrot. There was something off about that legendary carrot soup recipe. I just realized we never checked the men's restroom. Yes, there are just some lines you don't cross. We searched the whole school, save for that place, but we never found the carrot. That means the carrot was in the men's restroom. A carrot in the men's restroom? What an odd sense of humor. I should write Jenny a letter asking her to look through the men's restroom. Can't you ask Will instead? It's the men's restroom after all. Nope. That coward finds it. He'll take it to the teacher bawling like before. Keep in mind that if it weren't for Will, you'd be in jail right now. Or six feet under. Ugh. I'm so bored. It's a flashback. Flash flashbacks are supposed to be boring. I see why no one else wants to ride this god-awful train. It's boring enough to drive someone in drive anyone insane. Hey, a ticket for this train costs 500 pies. And it stopped the witch's house in Hylian, where all roads lead to. There's second place at the school for witches. Whatever. I don't care about any of that. How am I second place anyway? I even sneaked into the forbidden room twice. Three times. I even looked through the forbidden books in the hidden library in the school's basement. I still remember that horned rabbit that was as big as a house. No wonder Will started crying. So how did I manage second place? 
I simply didn't want to lose. Cut it out and sit quietly. This is a train only for those who want to succeed. The witch's house might be dark and damp, but it's only three years of your life. Fine, fine. Enough with the lecture. As a matter of fact, I'm disturbed with the thought of taking off my shoes when I get off the train. Shoes? What? For what? Wonder what kind of trouble you'll get into when we arrive. I won't! I won't fool around the moment I get there. <clears throat> I didn't know you had self-awareness. Don't you know about the terrible city of rules that is Hylian? The first thing to do is to take your shoes off as soon as you get off the train. This is my first time hearing something like that. I heard that Jenny's older sister was wearing strappy boots when she first arrived in Hylian. Is that even how you pronounce that? I have no idea. So she almost couldn't get off because she had to unstrap them completely. See? Mom bought me new shoes as well. Didn't Arya just mean to encourage you? No. Dad also did say that comfortable boots would be better. That's strange. It's true. I'll also ask other people if you don't believe me. Ooh. Keyword game. Lace-up boots. It's a pain to wear lace-up boots if you're boarding the train to Hylian. The truth remains one. Bartender! Hello, Mr. Bartender! Hey! Want a drink? No, I don't drink alcohol. Do you have any tea? Of course! Then I'll have a cup of that. The tea has alcohol, though. Is that okay? But then that's just alcohol. Alcohol with tea. Potato, potato. Then, can I ask you a question instead of a drink? Anytime. You can initiate conversations using the keywords at your disposal. Change category with butt, arrows, and Z. Okay. Something on your mind? Oof. Hmm. Chit chat. Let me know if you need anything to drink. Something on your mind? Okay. What sort of work do you do here? I'm mixing my life and changing the alcohol. Wait, I think that's the other way around. I'm just an average bartender working in the most expensive place in the world. What brings you to this very expensive train? I thought you were listening to our conversation. I stopped listening when it got boring. I'm going to be an apprentice at the witch's house in Hylian. After working as an apprentice for three years, I will be able to graduate from the School of for Witches. Wow, Hylian, huh? That's the right proper place, isn't it? So they say. That's probably why you got the train ticket for free. You must be someone special. I don't really care about that kind of thing, though. That kind of thing is what's important at the end of the day. It's best to just suck it up. You'll be glad you did later down the road, you know? Yeah, later. What's up? Shop? We only sell alcohol at the moment. What's up? Can I take a look at your shoes? My shoes? What for? From what I've heard, you have to take your shoes off before you step foot in Highland Station. You work at the train, so you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, that story. Absolutely. Plenty of confused passengers who were all dressed up for Hylian. 
If you're wearing shoes of that sort, I'd advise you to untie them in advance. O ye who reacheth Hylian, look first upon the, thy shoes. So that's how the saying goes. See, Virgil, I was right. The preppy boots Mom gave me as a present tell me just as much. Those are some nice boots. Right? My mom bought them for me when she found out I was graduating magna cum laude. I think I said that right. <laughs> sure is amazing you're graduating, despite your antics. You gonna keep up with that attitude of yours? Ha! <laughs> Hearing the two of you speak, I have a feeling being boredom won't be an issue. Nope. It's so boring. Aren't you bored, Mr. Bartender? I've gotten used to it. But it's certainly gotten less boring, thanks to you and your hat. You've been listening? I'd have guessed we'd have heard about your arson at the school for witches by now. I didn't set it on fire. Really? Uh, sure, there was a fire. That was because I shook a potion five times and made it explode. <laughs> Potions must be shaken three times only. Even a non-witch like me knows that. Exactly! <laughs> ah, thank you for the follow! And hello! <laughs> How can you not try shaking it four times having heard that? Love and hugs and hearts all around. <laughs> you said you shook it five times. Nothing happened on the fourth time, so I shook it once more. Hello! <laughs> I have a feeling. <laughs> An inquisitive mind. You've already got the makings of a fine witch. Thanks for the praise. <laughs> I don't think he was praising you. <laughs> I should be on my way then. Alright, have a fun trip. You can't act like a country bumpkin once you're in the city, got it? You're not going to ask just one person, are you? Why? <laughs> one is never enough, you know. Even the greatest detectives never reach a conclusion based on a single piece of evidence. Hmm, you have a point. I'll view your notes with N. Okay. She's so cute. Look how bouncy she is. <laughs> oh, down here. The truth remains one. She choose. I'm trying. Okay, so where do I go? Aha! Oh, there's the next dude. What kind of a voice does he get? Up ahead is the engine room. That doesn't fit. Boy. I don't like that voice. <laughs> Small talk is forbidden during operation. Up ahead is the engine room. I'm an attendant on Brightman Railroad. My job is to ensure the passengers' comfort and safety. Up ahead is the engine room. I think I have to... S oh, yeah. We don't check the passengers' outfit. Even if you don't check, it's c inconvenient to get off if you wear strappy boots. There are so many different types of clothing that cause discomfort, I can't define them all. Then what about having a hard time taking off your shoes when you get off? Delays only occur once in a while due to their shoes. But again, it's not regulated. I guess there's no fine. Isn't it a matter of harming social reputation rather than the fine? Is that so? Up ahead is the engine room. 
Please save any inquiries regarding souvenirs at the station until after we exit the train. So I guess that's all then. Who else do I need to talk to? Or was I not done? Hello! Ooh, look at this boy! Oh, hello. Am I disturbing you? Negative. What's the issue? Oh, I want to ask you about something. You're on the way to Hylian, right? Correct. Um... What's the matter? Oh, it's just that you have very, a very blunt way of speaking. Oh my. Old habits die hard, especially when one is deep in thought. You sound like the janitor from my old school. Well, I used to be a soldier. So what brings you here? Speak. Before that. What? You've been staring at my feet for a while. Is there some kind of problem? Oh, I was just going to ask anyway. I'll get to that message in a while. <laughs> Isn't it uncomfortable to wear such strappy boots? It takes some time to put them on and take them off, but I'm used to it. Then it would be hard for you when you arrive at Hylian. What? What are you talking about? I mean, you have to take your shoes off when you get off. What? 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 Huh? Oh, you were kidding? I'm sorry. I'm rather dull when it comes to things like this. Jenny! Mr. Bartender! The mystery has been solved. Did I make some kind of mistake? No, no. I just realized that I was deceived. Come to think of it, I remember now. It's a joke to make fun of people who visit Highland for the first time. Stop! You don't have to kill me twice by giving me that much detail. I'm sorry. Are you holding back laughter? No, I'm not. He's trying so hard to be considerate of you. Don't ask twice. Virgil, I hate you even more now. You don't need to be too upset. When I went there for the first time in the past, I was also tricked by a colleague and took them off. That doesn't comfort me at all. I'm sorry. How do you feel? Why are you asking me that? Your molars might fall out. Relax a bit and tell me. I can't believe Jenny deceived me. There's a reason why she's your friend. Now, go back to your seat quietly and wait until we've arrived. We still have to... We still have three more days to go. Three more days? That's as terrible as the smell of spotted shiitake mushrooms. <laughs> this is cute. Alright now, have some patience and stay seated. Ugh. Yay! I'm bored. We just sat down. This is torture. Stare out the window if you're so bored. Yeah, look outside. Look at that mountain. It must be hiding a cave with strange pillars, statues, and a giant door. Sounds like the prologue to a story where you awaken a terrible demon. Wait, hold on. Virgil, shut up. Look out the window at the summit of the mountain. There's a gigantic shining tree at the top. A gigantic shining tree? 
Why is it shining? Does it have luminous flowers? Must be beautiful up close. Give it up. This train won't stop for two days. Ugh. I want to get out now. I hope we crash. Fat chance of that happening. So just stay bored. After all, you signed up for three years of even more boredom. Aren't there any crook events nearby? Nope. What about boa constrictors? This isn't a jungle. Train robbers? This isn't the Wild West. It's a healing game, remember? <laughs> hey! A boa constrictor! The correct line is, what's going on? There's no station here. Why are we stopping? I'm not sure. Maybe there's something wrong with the train. I doubt it's a boa constrictor, though. I don't care if it's not a boa constrictor. Please just say there's some massively critical issue. Please, please, please. Ooh, do we get to go investigate? <gasps> We well, apologize for the inconvenience. A critical issue, perhaps? The train cannot continue its journey due to a critical issue. Yes! Attention! The train will stop until tomorrow morning and the departure time. Can we go outside? Will likely be announced tomorrow. We will depart immediately if possible. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. In the meantime, please avoid wandering too far from the train. Let's go! I'm not sure if you remember, but... Of course I remember. The shining, shining tree is at the peak. No, not that. We have to get back by tomorrow morning. Then we should get going. Yay! Whoops. That does seem like just a keyboard game. Wow, it's so dark. If you're scared, we can go back to the train. I'd love it! Let's hurry! Tab to open and close the menu. Memo board. Okay. We got this. Oops. Keep wanting to do to use uh oh, what I do. Oh, it's saved. Auto save. It's a hill. It won't be easy to climb. Look over there. There are vines hanging on the hill. I'll be able to climb that much. That's bad news. I love it already. It's a secret passageway, Virgil. I don't think it's a secret or a passageway. I bet there's a path beyond here. Let's go check it out. What's this? Looks like little honey pumpkin. What's that? It's a type of weed that grows in forested areas. The vines grow so fast that you can never get rid of them by hand. You must find the nucleus hidden somewhere to get rid of it. Then I guess we can always get rid of this if we find the nucleus. Or just return to the train quietly. That can't happen. Let's go look for the nucleus. It must... Oh, I thought it was for him. Let's go look for the nucleus. It must be nearby. Since the nucleus gives off light when you touch the vine, you'll be able to find it. time to explore. Please don't use that word, explore. That word gives me anxiety. No thanks to your mother. Ooh, I get to sprint. I got it. I 
got a crinapple. What's that? There's a little well or a house. The shining tree is at the peak of the mountain, so go quickly if you want to see it. We must return to the train by tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah. Got crown apples. I just wanted to see that. I'm an explorer. I have to search everything. A branch. This. I know. We're going. I have to pick shit up on the way. What are those? It's a little bell. They're so cute! I go this way? A mountain! That's a bad thing, right? I always hated mountains. My leather gets worn out from all the wind. Secrets. What's this? Looks like a barrier made from a wi with a witch pattern. Witch pattern? Is there a witch here? There was, or do you know how it works? School hammered it into my head. Shouldn't be an issue as long as it's drawn well. Oh no. Do I actually have to try and draw it? No. <gasps> we made it! Wow! It's the gigantic shining tree! The same one we saw from the train! This is a bitter grape tea tree. I don't think the tree is the one that's shining. Check this out, Virgil. There are a ton of butterflies on it! You're right. The butterflies seem to be glowing. These are blue moon butterflies. The butterflies give off a subtle moonlight. The light from these butterflies has the same power as an actual moonlight. That's why strange things always happen around these butterflies. Aren't they beautiful? A giant tea tree with butterflies glowing in the moonlight. It's not just beautiful. It's an extremely fascinating sight to behold. Isn't this a pretty magnificent discovery? Did you know that those two are rare creatures? What? So what about it? The fact that those two are together is amazing. What about those two being together? They're usually raised together artificially to get moonflower in lu lucerine or two. I have no idea if I said that right. <laughs> it's uncommon for them to be together naturally like this. Um, anyway, we did find something, right? I guess so. I'll have to write a letter to the school later. Let's look around a bit more. Fill up the codex and all, right? Just don't be late. We must return to the train by tomorrow morning. Okay! Let's go back the way we came up. There might be other strange things. It's so pretty. I have to screenshot. Okay. I don't think I'll get a wink of sleep on the train. I wonder if there's anywhere I can sleep for tonight. What about the ground? The dirt and rocks should make a nice bed. That's not funny, Virgil. Look at the blue moon butterfly. We saw at the peak is here too. 
might as well collect some for study purposes. You think I could just sneak up and grab it? Wait. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> we got puppy today. What are you doing? <laughs> We're doing stuff. Are you gonna go in your box? Go ahead. You can go ahead. Alright. Wait, do you remember what Mr. Gravier said? Death lives under the bed. No, not that. Draw it before you touch it? That's right. Q and W to change tools. Okay. Approach it. Use the quill to draw it in the encyclopedia. Okay. Oh, I have to hold it. Okay. We did it! <gasps> Look how cute! A butterfly that emits a soft blue glow from absorbing moonlight. It is sensitive to sound, but will not easily go away unless it feels especially threatened. And you can catch it with a net. Habitat and time of appearance. Tools used for collecting. Collectibles that can be acquired. How to make collecting easier and exit. Great! It's registered in the catalog. Let's see. Now, do you see why you can't catch any right now? Because we don't have the tool. So you can collect them using a butterfly net. I don't have one right now. How much you can do now then? But I want to do it right now. Getting to the witch's house in Highland is more important. Hmm. Let's go back down now. There's got to be something else that's fun. I don't need to go there anyway. There's just the butterflies here as far as I saw. What's that? What is this? <laughs> it's two babies holding on to the vine. Acquire things while I can. Ellie, let's go back to the train. Look at that, Virgil! A shining white cat? I've never seen anything like that before. Ellie, we have to... Let's go after that creature! Wait, did it go to the right? I wasn't looking. I was focused on reading. <gasps> Kitty! Hi, Kitty! I think the cat dropped something and left. What's this? Looks like a witch chalk. That thing you use to draw things like a pattern? It looks a little different from the one we were using at school. It's just a different packaging. Yay! This witch pattern seems to have been erased a bit. It won't work if it gets erased like this. You can draw the pattern again using the same colored witch chalk. Since I have the one I just picked up earlier, let's draw it again with that. Should I draw the witch pattern again using one with... Yes. Alright, I drew the witch pattern again. See, now I'm questioning myself on why I was putting this off for so long. Huh. 
Where did the cat go? Look, Virgil! There's a house! That's a witch's house, isn't it? It looks pretty old. I guess we can talk to the Master Witch here and stay here for a while. It doesn't look like there are people inside. If there's no one, I might stay for a while. Isn't it natural for an apprentice witch to be at a witch's house? That's true, but... Anyone there? Is anybody there? Seems like nobody is here. It could be an abandoned witch's house. Because the witch administration can't figure out everything. Alright, let's go inside. Oh! It really is an abandoned witch's house. Taking that into consideration, it looks okay. Although, it's not that clean. Since the witch's house is managed on her own. It doesn't seem to be in a very good condition, considering how dirty it is. But the bed looks fine. I guess I can just sleep here. Um, well, since the witch's house is a public institution, it's okay to sleep one night or so. And it's better than sleeping outside. You can recover stamina spent by eating or sleeping. Where's the bed? Let's sleep. Sleep, sleep. Oh, I love that. That's cute. Okay. Um. What's with that face? You slept on a nice fluffy bed. Yes, but... I dreamt that I was sleeping on the train. All that effort not to sleep on the train. Only to dream of just that. You should have just slept on the train. No, that's not it. I slept very well, actually. I can almost hear the sound of the train, though. Wait. Isn't that actually the sound of the train? What? Really? Is it taking off already? Let's hurry! Saved. It really is the sound of the train. I think it's about to take off. Let's hurry back. I woke up just in time. Glad I didn't sleep in. Ah, fuck. Where did I come in at? I'm coming, train. Are we gonna miss the train? Huh? Where's the train? <laughs> Looks like that bird was imitating his train sounds. But where's the train? It probably went to Hylian. Then what do we do now? Let's look around the area. I'm sure we'll find some clues. Why are you so calm? I've been through much worse with your mom. thing. It's called the Gaga bird. They say it's a bit insane. Quiet. I don't want to hear it. It's your fault for oversleeping. Don't blame the Gaga bird. Fine. Whatever. Just be quiet. A letter! How nice of them to leave a letter behind. Let's see. I think it's from the bartender on the train. You're probably shocked to see that the train is gone. A witch suddenly appeared in the middle of the night and got rid of the prickly vines. They said they can't wait because the train was already delayed, so we had to leave. But don't worry, the train will come back and there's a village nearby where I used to live. You can just spend some time there. There should be a sign in the forest, so take a look and go find the village. When you arrive at the village, please send... That and Arden, my regards. Bartender. He said there's a village, Virgil. Are you even a little upset that we missed the train, Ellie? There's a village nearby. 
but I can't imagine where it would be. We explored that area quite a lot yesterday. It was probably too dark to see. Let's look for it again. See if there's a sign as well. How about cleaning the witch's house? We might have to stay there until we find the village. Okay. Please try not to sound so excited. We missed the train, remember? Right. You heard me, right? Well then, I might as well add more to the encyclopedia now. Yes. I was going to be bummed if we were already done in this area. <laughs> oh. Because there was bunnies here, too. Sweet! Oh, helps if you pick up the right buttons. So what's through here? Oh, I can't get there. Because I can't do the sigil. Bunnies! Look at the bunnies! Hi! You guys are so cute! <laughs> oh, this game is delightful. I can't believe I was putting off playing it. Well, there's a sign. Okay, the village is immediately to the right, then. The town lies to the east, over here. I guess people do live around here. All right, let's head east. But it seems to be blocked by something over there. That's true. It's a little honey pumpkin. Let's go take a look first. To the, I missed some of that, so. Yes, but I have to get to that so I can. Hi, little bunnies! You are super cute! And I love you! Let's get rid of the weed first. There's too much. It would take forever to pull all this out using hands. Take a look at the bin over there. It might have a potion to get rid of the weed. The bin. Is this the bin? What bin exactly? Oops. Look, Ellie, it's a quest mark. All I see is dust and cobwebs that we have to clean up. Exactly. Let's find something useful while we're cleaning. Oh, it's a notebook. Might be useful later. I wonder where the witch is. The one who lived here. This place is probably very old. She must be eating and living well somewhere in Lucerne Orto. She really messed up the house. It reminds me of your room. My room was cleaner than this. That might be so from a dust standpoint. It's a witch bookshelf! Technically, it's a bookshelf that the witch was using. That's same as a witch bookshelf. I'm not going to read a book, though. I'm tired of books. A poisonous mushroom is better than a witch who doesn't read books. What does that mean? Because a poisonous mushroom kills just one person. Stop nagging. I read enough books at school. 
Hmm. Witch history. The 12 plants. Fun book of plants. Gardening for witches. There's so many books on plants. I guess a witch who used to research plants was living here. I should store any books I get in here. All done cleaning. It's also messy in front of the desk over there, Ellie. Stop bossing me around like a teacher. I finally managed to get out of school. There's some dust over there, Ellie. Don't leave food behind, Ellie. I told you not to go inside the principal's office, Ellie. You should have listened. Oh, this is a witch elevator. That's why you have to listen to teachers. Let's hurry up and go down. What if there's a scary monster? You think so? Oh, I'm so excited. Let's go. Oof. More cleaning? <laughs> wow, look at this, Virgil. This must be the dispensary. You can probably make potions with the proper tools. We should definitely do some cleaning. Wow, cleaning again. I know what this is. It's an extractor. We used it so many times at school. This is a slightly smaller one, though. It would be hard to use. Look at the glass bottle underneath. Oh, that's true. It's broken. I'll need a friendly toad, at least. I'll need to get a glass bottle first in order to use this. You need to at least fix the extractor in order to make potions. All right, let's go to the village first. Let's look for one. This is a potion ingredient, isn't it? You use them in school countless of times. Are witches usually this sloppy? Sloppy or not, they're careful with their ingredients. Then I guess the witch that lived here was really sloppy. Or she was in a hurry. Why? Beats me. Ooh, pinchy. A roaster? Ugh, I hate this thing. You have to put in the ingredients and just wait. It's awful. <clears throat> Can't you simply put them in and do something else while you're waiting? It seems to be in bad condition, however. Really? Oh, yes. There is no handle for winding the spring. Where would I get a roaster handle? I don't need the roaster since it's not needed for the basic recipes. There should be something when you get to the village. Yeah, the village comes first. By the way, there's nothing normal here. It would be rather strange to be normal when it's dirty like this. Clean, clean, clean. Wow, this is a pretty good cauldron. I think it was made by the Blue Lightning Workshop. Its style is very traditional. I've only ever used the cheap cauldrons at school. Finally, I get to use a good one. Do you remember how to use one? Of course. Expertly processed ingredients, the exact heat intensity, and the right ladling technique. And at last, at last, you'll end up with a proper potion. Crafting potions. In order to craft potions, you need the following. You need to follow. <laughs> The required ingredients, fire setting, and ladle direction. Carefully review the recipes in the encyclopedia. I actually liked teacher Olivia. <laughs> Still, the cauldron looks to be fine. You'll be able to make a potion if you have the ingredients. The machine tools are in bad condition though. Since there are some discarded ingredients, let's make the potion we need using them for now. Let's focus on what we're doing. He said to make a potion. This box looks pretty useful. I can put stuff in here when my pockets are full. Yeah, that's what a chest is for, sweetheart. The spilled bottle, scribbled paper, and a book. What a 
a mess. Just brush off the dust. Just brushing off the dust might take a lifetime. What's this? Lunar's oil? Looks like a recipe for a potion. I guess it was used by the witch who was here. It reads, a potion with the power of moon. The ingredients are moonflower and phoenix feather. Having a hard time talking. <laughs> Only very expensive materials are used. I'll use it someday. Let's have it ready for now. There is also something underneath. Where? Oh, you're right. Um, I don't know what kind of text this is. You learned it at school. It's the ancient witch language. You mean I learned how to read these strange symbols? Your score wasn't bad either. I don't remember anything. Shall we take a look anyway? Um, looks like a recipe. It seems like moon's something. I have no idea. I got a headache. Take a look if you remember later. Unreadable memo. Yeah, I should put it away and revisit it later. This desk would be nice to use as a workbench later. There's no use for it now. D and those. Okay. Yes, I'm all done cleaning. We can make potions now. It would be hard to make properly because the machine tools are broken. Since there were ingredients on the ground, let's try making with them for now. There was little honey pumpkin in front of the village, and the stubborn weed elimination potion should do it, right? It's a weed terminator potion. Whatever. Check the recipe in the encyclopedia. You'll probably be able to make it with the ingredients you were lucky enough to find. All right, let's do it. Got that, thank you. <laughs> so we need potion is complete. It's a potion for removing weeds. Anyway, it's ready. Let's go throw it at the little honey pumpkin. You must use it carefully since there are no more ingredients. Okay, don't worry. You must throw it at the little honey pumpkin and make sure to remove the nucleus as well. Because weed terminator potion is just a temporary measure. I got it. to equip potion. Excuse me. All right. Let's go. You can now save and load from the cabinet on the first floor of the witch's house. <gasps> really? Save? No. What should I do? Save, of course. Oops. There. Naps. You can now take naps. You cannot take naps at night. You can only nap once during the day. Alright. So now... Hi little bunnies. You're adorable and I love you. I was...
Here we go, we did it! I know I didn't read some stuff, but... In my defense, I was focused. Now we can get to the... <gasps> Look at that. Hi! Who are you? Huh? This isn't a village. Look over there, Ellie. It's a prickly vine this time. It's so huge and thick. That's what she said. <laughs> oh no. What do I do with the extractor? First, take a look around here. Hi! Aria? Hi! Hello! Do you live in town? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Nature is so beautiful. What? Aren't the trees beautiful? Their green leaves are so pretty. Oh, sure. Nature is so breathtaking. You must love nature. How can you not? Okay, I'll be back. Walk under the blue sky and experience nature. She must really love nature. So much that she can't have a conversation. You should respect her interests. I think it's more of an obsession. Something didn't feel right. You think she's cursed or something? A curse that doesn't allow her to talk about anything except nature? The curse of a nature lover? That doesn't make sense. There are lots of quirky witches out there. The curse lifting candy that can lift the curse should be a basic recipe. Oh, but we can't use the machining tool now. I must process what's been collected to make potion. What should I do? Picked up several ingredients in the workplace earlier, didn't you? Those would be enough to make curse lifting candy. And did you see what's next to her over there? Next to her? What? It's a glass bottle that would be perfect as a glass extractor bottle. Where? Whoa! You weren't kidding! Alright, now let's make curse lifting candy. And to receive that glass bottle is a reward. That would be nice. First, let's check on the candy that can lift the curse in the book. A sunlight potion? A white and a brown. I want to explore though. I just want to explore. Take a look at that huge. Yeah, I know. Don't you want me to go make the candy? How do I make the candy then? To go back to the workshop to make the candy, but you won't let me go back to make the candy. There's no potion that can lift the curse now. You'll probably be able to make it with the ingredients you picked up at the workplace earlier. Have you heard the sound of water flowing from the stream? That beautiful, subtle sound. Big. Too big for the weed terminator potion, I think. Hmm. We'll have to do something else. We'll have to stay at the witch's house for a while. Are you happy now, Virgil? Now can I go back and make the candy? It was white and brown, right?
Did I not make it? didn't think about having to actually set the fire myself. <laughs> hey bunnies! I did it! I made the candy! What the heck are you? A pumpkin terrier. Okay. That's new. Aria, shall I give her the curse lifting candy? Would you like to try this? May the blessings of nature be with you. Hello? Yes, hello! Am I speaking properly now? Yes, I think so. Wow, thank you so much. To hell with nature. I guess it really was a curse. I could tell that the old man I met in the western jungle was suspicious just by looking at him. Yet I simply couldn't ignore such a well-made wooden image of a monkey. After I bought it, I could only talk about praising nature. I tried to speak backwards, right, but I could only praise nature. Pure torture. I hope nature just rots and dies. Still, I'm glad it... Glad that it, the curse was easily removed. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. My name is Arya. How long has it been since I said my name? My name is Ellie. I'm an apprentice witch. Oh, did you come to this town to be an apprentice? I was on the train, but I got off for a moment and it left without me. Oh, dear. I was about to enter the town. But it's blocked off by some prickly vines. Damn nature. Thankfully, we found an empty witch's house nearby, so I've been staying there. An empty... Oh yes, there's a witch's house here. That's good. I've been... I've business in the... Okay, took me a minute to get that. <laughs> I've business in the village too, but the vines stopped me. Nature be damned. I'll be here for a while. Let me know if you need anything. Oh, then can I ask you a favor? Not a favor, but a fair price. What do you need? The tools were broken when I was trying to use the dispensary at the witch's house. Do you have any tools or parts? What kind of tools or parts do you need? I need a glass bottle for the extractor and a roaster handle for the winding for winding the roaster. Wait a minute. I'll look for them. Sure. But Ellie, do you have any money? I do. Mom gave me pop pocket money when I came out. Mom didn't pay me when I came out. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
You think you'll be able to buy witch tools with just enough pocket money to buy a snack or two? Eh, is that so? What if I don't have enough money? Since you have tools, make and sell potions or something. You can also sell candies now. Only if there are people to buy them. I found it. Take this. Yay, we got the bottle. How much is this? Oh, never mind. This is return for our breaking my curse. Wow, thank God. Unfortunately, I don't have any roaster handle for the roaster. I see. Will you be staying at the village? If so, I'll bring it next time. I'll sell it at a proper price then, however. Good. Please bring it then. Okay. I'll write roster, roaster handle in the memo. Oh. And take this too. Healing candy? <gasps> Can I have that in real life? <laughs> Since the price for the bottle earlier wasn't enough. I'll give this to you as well. Thank you. Sure. Come back next time. Now we'll be able to fix the extractor. But are you really going to stay in this village? I should until the train comes. Really? I have no choice. No. I mean, are you really going to leave when the train comes? But... I'll decide when that happens. Let's just fix the extractor first. Yay! bottle I have for the extractor? Yes. Good. Now I can use the extractor. We can finally make potions properly. Then what do I do now? Didn't you want to go to the village? You should remove the gigantic prickly vine. That's true, but it seems impossible to get rid of that huge thing with the recipe I have now. The basic recipe does seem kind of inadequate. What's your plan? Now that the extractor has been fixed, you'll be able to make potions from the basic recipes. If you make weed terminator potion, you can get rid of little honey pumpkin. I'll be able to go to the places that have been blocked. A little more. Yeah. So the forest. Let's look through the forest. There must be something. That's what I'm saying. What are you doing? Tiniest little perch. Whoops. Duh. <gasps> A crow! Witch car! It spoke? It's a witch's crow. Oh, it's a witch's crow. The witch returns. The witch returns. This is my first time coming here, though. A witch returns. Not exactly a listener, is he? Goods and services. Gah. Goods and services. Witch's catalog. The witch's catalog? I've always wanted to try it out. You need to head towards Hylian, young lady. But I can't just starve until I reach the village. After I find the village, I'm going to make sure I try it out before I go to Hylian. Limited time only. Register now for a gift. Call. <laughs> Try the witch's catalog. Try the witch's catalog. They're handing out gifts as well. Plus, it's limited time only. Call. Gift. Multi-purpose glue. Kitchen accessories. A spork. In any case, I need the witch's catalog. I guess it wouldn't hurt to have in a pinch. You can buy ingredients or potion recipes from them. Alright, let's register for now. Thank you, Carl. Thank you. Visit employee. Visit employee. 
Rebecca, visit employee. When? Work finished, work finished, closed for the day. <laughs> closed for the day. <laughs> so suddenly? It's not easy getting the message across to witches' crows. Hmm, then I guess I should keep searching for the village. You never know when the witch's catalog will show up. Let's stick to the plan and find the village. No, we found the village, we just can't get through. So, what else can I explore while I'm here? Get steak. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> Pumpkin. We better get rid of it before it grows anymore. What? I'm not even a gardener. Why? We must get rid of it to get to a new place since we haven't been behind there. I guess it can't be helped to get. I guess it can't be helped to get to the new place. I guess I should make weed terminator potion. forget to remove the nucleus if you want to avoid repeating the same thing. Thank you. 
want to go there. So what? Where do I find the witch flower? Oh no, it's late. What do we got here? Oh, I can't even... I can't do anything here. No. Yeah. The bushes like to move. Last one I checked, it was a bush bug. <laughs> Are you guys night owls then? Or. if this game has the curfew like uh stardew does <laughs> nice okay what do i need for the white and green Something I do not have, that's what I need. Uh. Okay. Let's sleep. Sleep, sleep. No. Ah, oh, I missed the screenshot. Uh. You just woke up. Why do you look dead already? That's rude. I think I had an important dream, but I can't remember it. it. Seemed like something important. Like the principal's sermon? That's something I don't want to think about again. Alright. Ah, saving. Okay. Uh... Stem, give a slight tug and pull from the ground. During day and night. Yes, but where is it? This looks like it, but I can't pick that. Nor can I pick that. Oh. 
help if I changed to picking shit instead of the quill? Not used to it yet. <laughs> I had my quill out. I didn't have my grabber glove ready. <laughs> Pick you? Oh, you can probably only. Yeah, only at night. Dang. Witch flower! Hi, buddies! I figured stuff out! Hey. Sound of those bugs, though. Oh, he ran away. Gotcha. <laughs> down, please. Thank you. Thank you. Wasn't sure there for a minute. This is so ador such a delightful game. Why'd I wait so long to play it? I'm kinda mad at myself for that. Pumpkin Terrier fur. to kill, so we're gonna explore. Now that I don't have the dum-dum brain. Peace. 
summit. There is not. But I need nightfall. I have nothing to do until nightfall but explore. I think I've cataloged all of the animals here right now. Bug. Yarp. It sure is. It's a bush bug. Okay. All right. What are we doing? We don't know what to do until nightfall. Killed your brothers. Don't be mad at me. Save, of course. God, every time when you hit save, it kind of freezes for a second. You can't move or anything, and it makes me worry. Every time. I'm gonna try to do those yellow flowers. Go get in. Good boy. Okay. Well, since we're killing time, I'm gonna open my new drink. Well, not new. It's the same kind of drink. It just wasn't opened yet. <coughs> Excuse me. Come on, nightfall. I'm ripping out its fur, but still, I got to hold it. I got to hold the bunny, and it was delightful. I'm sorry, but you're cute. Squish! I love you. Hi. <laughs> I made it run away. It kind of actually sounds like a terrier. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Nightfall. I need the flowers. Pretty please. Shaky bush.
Can I pick these special flowers now? <gasps> I can. So confused. So I need it, but I need something I can't get right now to do it. That's not helpful. That's really not helpful. Wait, is it the bunny fur that I need? It was the bunny fur that I needed. <sighs> How long have you guys known that I was an idiot? <laughs> I wasted so much time waiting for nightfall. And all we had to do was squish the bunnies. <laughs> oh, good lord. Okay, um. Fire at four. I think, quick, I got the shot. <laughs> thank you, thank you for auto saving when that's literally what I was going to do. Anyway, I was going to say, <laughs> thanks. Was it just me that heard that sound three times or did you guys hear it too? Anyway, what I was going to say was I think that is where we're going to call it for tonight. We're definitely going to be playing way too much of this game. <laughs> this is way, way, way addicting. I'm so excited. <laughs> Why did I put it off for so long? Ugh. All right. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this as much as I did. This is such a delightful game. It is so adorable. <laughs> My friend! Bestie! Thank you for joining! Now you have an idea of what to expect from this game. And you should totally get it. <laughs> it's so adorable. Oh my god. So... Make sure to hit the like, follow, subscribe, and share with your friends. I love you. <laughs> uh, be safe out there, my friends. This is a terrifying world that we live in. But also get out there, spread as much kindness as you possibly can. Have a great night or day. I will see you guys next time. Bye.